Hey guys, so hopefully you can hear me. I do have my fan on. It's still muggy and hot and stuffy. Um, so yeah, weather's been great. I, um, well, yesterday we had a day off because of Memorial Day, and um, today still feels like a Monday. But anyway, I finally got a chance to make an appointment with a primary doctor since I don't have one because I don't really have any issues or whatever, so I just never went to one on a regular basis, but I am getting older, and like I told you, I feel like I'm falling apart since I gave birth back in November, and due to the fact that I gained so much weight, and that was one of my concerns, and I finally decided to seek a physician in regards to my depression. Now that's been going on for years, except I just kind of like dealt with it, cope with it, and it eventually passed. But since having Ava, and even before Ava came out, the depression was already starting due to, you know, the issues with my mom and dealing with work and just the repetitive problems that keeps repeating with my previous job and the one before and this current job. It's life in general. Um, like I mentioned to you guys before, like I've never had any major depression or symptoms back in California. I'm just saying that I guess my lifestyle was different. I had friend support. Um, I mean, I had sad moments, but I was never to the point I was feeling down, feeling lonely, or anything like that. Even though I was alone, like I had no family because mom was already in Ohio and my dad has been gone since I was 24, as in he passed away. Um, overall, I was just surrounded by positive people back home. So, I told her what I was going on. I felt like I wanted to say more that I didn't tell her enough but I told her pretty much the basic what I was going through I mean I pretty much was honest with her I thought I was gonna like sugarcoat things but I didn't um so she was looking through her book she didn't seem so great but she was friendly enough that I felt comfortable talking to even though she brought like a nursing student with her but I'm used to that so but anyway um I never thought I would go on this, but it's coming to that point where I think I need someone, something to calm my ass down because it's getting too much and I just, I'm just curious at the same time to see if this can help me counterbalance my brain, if that makes sense. Um, so most of the antidepressant medications one of the main side effects is gain weight, which we do not want because I'm already big as it is. Um, this is probably the second medication I have tried in my entire life. I was on Wellbutrin a while back. Um, only because my dad recently passed away at the time and then I was stressed out and overworked. And um, my doctor recommended that I should be on it. Um, so yeah, so my doctor looked and, um, she said this one is pretty neutral, won't make me gain weight, um, it won't, it's not as severe and strong compared to, like, the other more hardcore medications, kind of like, um, let's see, Lexapro, um, Zoloft something like that. I can't remember what she said, but all these medications I have heard of, you've seen commercials on them, I have friends who's been on it, um, and everyone has different effects with it, and this depends on you and how your body accepts it and your brain. Um, so yeah, um, I, it's so crazy because like literally everyone that I know including my patients, like, everyone is pretty much on this. I mean, I see it, like, every single day. And it's the Telepram. Um, the brand name is what? I should know this thing, but I don't think about it because you're not on, you don't really, you know. It's Alexa. It's 20 milligrams. Um, 
I see my patients take it, but I haven't heard too much about it. Um, so it's uh, 20 milligrams once every day. I was going to take it today, but it was like evening. So I figured I'm going to take it tomorrow morning. And um, I think I might do um, a vlog about this too. This is very personal. and But I kind of went on YouTube and uh, people were talking about it too. I didn't really look into it because I feel like it's going to make me crazy. And at the same time, I kind of think it's a placebo effect, if that makes sense. So, so if it trains my brain to feel like I'm going to feel better taking this, then maybe I'll feel better and then not want to be on it. And I'm afraid also I might depend on this because I mentioned over and over and I hate medications. I've been trying to avoid it and I told my doctor that too, but... I just come to the point where I think I need this to calm my nerves, especially at work and especially at home. And yeah. So I will be doing a one month follow up next time I see her, see how it feels. Um, I don't know. I'm really nervous because I just don't like taking medications. Um, if any one of you out there takes any anxiety, depression, medications, let me know. Comment below. It would mean a lot. It would, you know, let me know I'm not alone. Even though I know I'm not alone, working in the medical field, you see all these kind of issues and symptoms. And even like the strongest looking person has issues. And, you know, a lot of people think of it as such a very negative thing. Thing or like get over it, be strong, just meds are crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just weak. It's not true, you know. You sometimes we just need a little help, a, a little picker upper, things like that, you know. So, camera was a commercial or who was talking about? I don't know. But I keep seeing it like all the time. I'm not saying the correct words, but it's like it's normal for someone to have cancer and being medications but it's not normal for someone to go through any depression anxiety disorder and be on medication it's such a bad thing and that people need to be open about it and people need to talk about it and this world really needs to be nice and kinder to one another which will never change you know so that's the hard part um and also, you know what, I think I'm going to go over line here. Not over line, keep talking. But it's it's all mixed together. You know, you in the States, you kind of wish, you know, um, health care is free. Um, counseling would be free because a lot of people need help and can't afford it. And you, it's not, might be necessarily true, but it is part of it. I mean, people that really need the help don't get the right help because you can't afford it. Everything costs. Like I go see my counselors at the beginning. We have this program through a company called EAP and it covers six sessions. And after that, you pretty much pay a copay for $30 to talk to someone for an hour. I'm like, okay. Um, I stopped seeing my counselor for like a month already because I felt like it wasn't doing anything because I go home to the same issue. Um, but at the same time, I did enjoy talking to her. I, I will go back to her. But financially, 30 bucks like every two weeks or whatever, that is a lot of money for me. That money can go to my gas and my daughter's milk or whatever. So, yeah, I wish counseling would be, therapist type thing would be available for everybody free. And I wish the government would think about it. But of course they won't. It's not going to change. Um, this is why this world is full of crazy shit because the people that really need help aren't getting the right help and they go crazy and got forbid and go on killing and shooting and all this stuff you keep hearing on the daily news which is why I don't watch the news anymore but yet you still hear about it because it's Facebook and social media and whatever so that's my, other, my extra two cents um yeah, sometimes I feel so embarrassed and ashamed for talking about such personal things in my life. My mom, my baby, um, you know, my daughter's dad. Um. But it's okay because 
I know I'm being real. I know I'm not the only one having these issues. And I know there's people going through worse issues than myself, but I like to say I am a really honest person. What you see on video is pretty much how I am in person. Um, unless you're an ass to me, you will never know the real me. You, Well, it's your loss if you can't see how great I am. I mean, I can be a bitch, but I'm not to the point where I can make someone feel like shit or make someone feel so bad they want to kill themselves. Because there are people out there who I have encountered in life. Um, and I'm talking about jobs that I've been at have made me so depressed. I felt like I did not want to live anymore. And no, you know, I mentioned you in previous videos. Um, you know, you hear about a lot of people committing suicide, and I, I've known people to that point in um, in the past, and maybe current. I don't know. Um, yeah, I have to pause because sometimes I feel like I have to watch what I say about close people that I know in the past or present, and it's also. Painful to hear that it's someone you care about, a friend, a relative, partner. Thought about doing something like that, but it, um, I'm, I'm just keep talking. But it all has to do with depression, anxiety, and just life. Um. So yeah, I, I'm an honest person. My mom always told me not to open up with the world. You need to cover yourself. You need to put on this fake smile and, and not let people know about your stuff because people will use that against you. But it's just not in me. I mean, if you guys know too much about me, whether it's YouTube or in real life and you're using that against me, then I guess you're not my real friend and I move on. And that's your loss because I'm amazeballs. So, I just do this video because I get comments from the usual people, or maybe new ones, and they leave lovely comments or that they've been through it and that, you know, somehow my videos have touched somebody out there and someone else's videos have touched me, or your comments have touched me, like seriously. Um, so yeah. Um, that's all. I just want you guys to know that I will be trying this medication. I'm really nervous, so I'll I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, but um, this will do for now. And I weighed myself, yeah, because at the doctor's appointment, I am um one ninety eight. Yeah, that's crazy. I really honestly don't know when I'm gonna work out again. So. And I've been looking at houses off and on, um, only because it's my dream, it's my wish, and my friend is buying a house, which makes me feel shitty. Like, I'm happy for her, but at the same time, it's like, I know there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get one anytime soon, or God knows when. So, it's so hard to be happy for somebody, knowing that you want the same thing, but you're not quite there yet, so you feel stupid. So... Yeah, I'm one of those people who feel like shit when someone has something better than me and I feel like I can't compete or be at, be at their level. I feel like shit. Yeah, that's me. So, yeah, after my car payments are done next end of next year, honestly, I'm going to start saving more. I'm really bad with money, you guys. Like, I used, used to be so good in my early teens. And then as I got older, I just got stupid and, and just ended up in wrong relationships. And then financially, it killed me because everything was always under my name. And being so nice, I just, that's my problem. And that's something that I have to live with and learn. But I am slowly saving. You think at 33, I would know better, but... You learn every day, and um, yeah, everything I do is gonna be for my daughter, so I'm wanting to have a better life for her. Um, I am blessed that I have a home to stay, 
to have parents who drives me insane, but still accepts me and let me stay as long as I want, even though it's not that perfect relationship that I dreamt of having. But um, yeah, that is all you guys, so we'll upload this tonight, alright? Good night guys, take care all, and thank you for all my new and uh, usual subbies. Peace. Leave a comment below. Bye.